Hey everybody, and welcome to TK's Musion Saturday Slam Fest, episode 147, for December 15th, 2018. The Gyromite Rob, for his early Xmas gift, would like to plant Toho's Aya in the ground firmly for another solid win. He has the spam to contend with her, but she is a master of the win elemental. Can he avoid being blown away? Random stage, give us the outcome. Hope you all enjoy. I expect a pretty good back and forth match from these two. Will they live up to that? I'm not sure. Rob and Aya about to fight on the bridge anime stage. This should be very fun, hopefully. Anyways, let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. All right, Aya opens up the fan swipe, catches Rob good. Now the sweep of flamethrower hits Rob. Now Rob back to the corner. Aya just keeping up the pressure with those mini tornadoes and the energy slashes from her fan. And the fan slashes themselves. Aya slowly closing in on Rob, who's still on defense mode here. Aya still chipping away with those mini tornadoes. Ends up grazing Rob and catches them with some and the wind waves. Now Aya leaping behind Rob, starts to try to fan slash him. And tornadoes spam. Rob trying to block him, but still getting chipped through his defense by those fan slashes. And now we see Aya leaping in on Rob, who grazes her with the down smash. Now Aya firing back with some more wind waves and some more tornadoes. Now the sweep of flamethrower comes out. Energy away from her fan. Rob spamming those beams, trying to rip through Aya's attacks. Gets the mini beam pellets off. Now goes to shoot out more beam pellets. Catches Aya nicely there. She lands on her face. Aya trying to block. Gets caught by another beam pellet. Rob closing in now. And Aya trying to combo him as he closes in. Throws off more mini tornadoes. Fan swipe. Now gets another fan swipe. And another more energy waves. Now the sweep of flamethrower out again. Man, Rob getting chipped down. Suika runs away. Aya trying to load some wind bursts, but Rob just firing through with the mini pellets. Now see, now Aya firing off a wind wave. Now the energy pellets ripping through Aya's fan shots. Now see, now more tornado spam coming. Rob trying to block up on those. Suika flamethrower eating away at Rob's health. And Rob trying to block here. Goes for mini pellets countering counterattacking Aya from afar. Aya trying to throw off a wind burst, but gets a low fan swipe. Cuts Rob down. Sheesh! The projectile spam very back and forth, but Aya still wins out in round one. Round two, let's see if Rob could come back firing all cylinders. All right, so we can flamethrower to start. Now super scope up from Rob, who ends up getting chipped by that wind burst. Now the mini pellet hitting Aya. Aya throwing off a wind burst there. Tries for a tornado. Rob blocking that. Super scope counter. Now another wind burst from Aya, but the super scope ripping through it. Now Rob going for the super laser special. Ends up frying Aya good. Does about a third of her health. Rob leaping high up into the air. Firing off the super scope, ripping through Aya's wind wave. Knocked her out of a special with the mini pellets. And Rob spamming the mini pellets now. Aya getting dominated by Rob's projectile game. Now Rob with the rotor arm slam. Slams Aya in the corner. And hey, look at that. Rob is right back in and taking round two. And we are going to an unexpected round three. Who will take it? All right, Aya gets the sweep of flamethrower. Ends up hitting Rob good. Aya going with the tornado spam and the wind waves again. Aya just trying to keep that gap close with Rob. Now backing him into the corner. Rob is the super scope. Aya trying to get him with the fan combo and the wind burst from her. Fan, and now the swing of flamethrower out again, Rob blocking that, and the tornadoes coming his way. Aya trying to get in with the fan slashing, Rob blocking that, and the tornadoes. Aya just keeping the barrage of tornadoes ripping through Rob, and the energy waves finally getting through. Another tornado into the fan slash, Aya just combo whoring Rob, goes for the swing of flamethrower, following that wind burst, and the tornado. Aya has Rob in trouble here, who fires back with the mini pellets now, gives himself some breathing room, starts eating away through Aya's wind burst with those mini pellets again. Rob just spamming them for all they're worth, goes for the super scope, raising Aya, fires back with the wind burst. Now the swing of flamethrower comes out, looks like he got disrupted. Now Rob going for the super scope. Oh, uh, now more super scope ripping through Aya's wind waves. Rob's slowly coming back here a little bit, and Aya stuck in the corner. Now lasers for Rob. Now a big laser, now some mini pellets. Aya getting Rob just slowly creeping towards Aya, trying to lock her in the corner. Oh, sweep a flamethrower knocks Rob away as he tries to spam the mini pellets again. Rob barely hanging on here, and Aya got knocked out of her wind wave again. If one of those, and unfortunately Rob couldn't disrupt that one as he gets grounded. Sheesh! Rob was cr slowly creeping back into this set, but. I had just kept up with the wind waves, and finally one of them got through and took Rob down 2-1. Holy hell, I and Rob really delivered with a pretty nice 147 singles one bout. So good for them here. I clapped up both combatants. They really brought it, and both wanted to win. Sadly, only one could, and it ended up being Aya's day. Hang in there, Rob. Keep fighting the way you are, and you'll snag another win sooner or later. Sheesh. Alrighty, folks, stay tuned for single set number two. I'll go get the I'll roll out the carpet for that one momentarily. Gonna get a drink of water and relax my throat some, because it is burning hot. Anyways, be right back in a bit. Welcome back, Musionites, for our next 1v1 installment. Shades of Manhattan's 13 would love to mangle another opponent for a major, and he'll get his chance against Dreamland's Dark Matter. The evil eye has really been punishing his competition, even in rare defeats. The masked psychopath will really have to be cautious in approaching him with his blades. As we rush over to a random stage, hope you all enjoy. 
Thirteen, you better keep your eye on Dark Matter, because if you don't, he'll see right through everything you do. Thirteen and Dark Matter are about to engage in a ferocious fight here on the Imya Dojo stage. Anyways, let's get ready to kick butt, engage, here we go. Alright, Thirteen, wish the shoulder blades, Dark Matter gets knocked out of his energy wave, goes for the flump slam on Thirteen, hits him good, now goes for electric bolt, knocks Thirteen on his ass, Thirteen ends up blade goring Dark Matter good, right to that blade, drop kick into the jumping blade shot, and Dark Matter on the defensive, Thirteen pressing his advantage, flump slam, breaking up Thirteen's party, now see Dark Matter trying to fight back, get some blades in the eye, big blade combo from Thirteen, knocking th Dark Matter back, Dark Matter trying to go for an energy wave to the cartwheel, now 13 firing back with some more blade jabs. Now see Dark Matter with the R burst. Now gets a flump slam on 13. Nearly has his number. Another flump slam. There he goes. Man, Dark Matter not taking any of that lying down from 13 in round 1. Fired back hard. Just slamming on top of him. Round 2. Let's see if 13 can bring it back with the chest spike. That goes for the blade dropkick catching Dark Matter. Ends up countering with an energy wave. Now see 13 going for more blade jabs. Electric bolt counter from Dark Matter. Will unload some mini rock shards. And ends up pelting 13 following that energy wave grazing him. And 13 slammed by another energy wave. Unloading more rock fragments. And 13 just shoulder blading right through him. Now goes in for the blade jabs. Bump slam counter from Dark Matter. Will end up frying 13 with the electric bolt there. Now 13 with more blade jabs. Now a super jump from Dark Matter following the electric bolt. 13 stuck in the corner, trying to fight back with the rapid blade jabs. Catches Dark Matter good in the eye. Now, now the chest spike special out of nowhere. Gores Dark Matter for oh, nearly over half. Now 13 with the shoulder blade and the blade jab rush. There he goes. Yes, 13 pulled it off with the chest spike surprise in round two. And he sees life in round three. Can he win it all now? All right, see, Dark Matter ends up gre getting greeted by 13 shoulder blade. Oh, or a burst counter from Dark Matter, who whips that energy wave, goes for a second one, and a third one, 13 blocking all of them, now see a little mini eye fired up by Dark Matter, who jumps over the shoulder blade, now goes for his special, oh boy, the Dark Matter sword rush does nearly half of 13's health, a little over a third, as see shoulder blade whip for this, 13 gets slammed by the flump slam, now see Dark Matter leaping towards him, electric bolt frying 13 down hard. Man, I don't think Dark Matter was too thrilled with that chest spike special steal on round two, as Dark Matter came back in round three, completely pwned, the Shades of Manhattan Assassin 2-1. Psychopath would probably be better to call him, but you, you get the idea. Dark Matter seizing another big-time win here, so good for him. Beating 13 is never an easy feat, but Dark Matter got it done and continues with his wave of momentum in Season 3. Yeah, Dark Matter, you know, I think he's had like one or two hiccups. I haven't really checked his record, but Dar Dark Matter's been winning more than he's been losing. So he's hanging tough so far. And 13, hopefully he'll recover. He's got more wins than losses right now, too, but the losses are starting to catch up a little bit, so 13's got to start winning some other battles so he can, you know, keep going through Season 4 and potentially Season 5. You know, 13's at least holding his own. Alrighty, folks, be right back as I set up our first double smash of 147. Hopefully that will deliver. Be back in a few. Howdy, peeps! The TK is back and ready to pop open the doubles bubble. First up, we have Team SD3's Angela and Carly, who are looking to torment the struggling Arcana Hearts Fiona and Kamoi further with their sinister special spam. The melee game will definitely favor the Swordswomen, if they can manage to get in on the 16-bit warriors and knock them out of their casting. Will they be able to get the jump on them in time? Random stage, only you could tell us that. Hope you all enjoy. Well, Fiona and Kamoi, you better bum rush them hard and fast if you hope to see this victory through. SD3's Angela and Carly versus Arcana Hearts Fiona and Kamoi on the Platonic Twin Stage. Engage! Here we go! Alright, Carly trying to leap in off Fiona, wins a butcher girl with the blade. Kamoi teleporting on Angela, right into Fiona's sword strikes on Angela. Now Carly ends up slamming Kamoi back to the baseball. Oh boy, ice smash from Angela following that fireball spam. Fiona trying to cut off Angela, and now Kamoi trying to keep Carly away with the low sword swipes. Now an air blast coming out, Fiona taking through that. Now the fireballs hit Fiona's backside, following Evil Gate right to Carly's aerial baseball. God! Now Kamoi trying to activate EX mode going through Evil Gate here, and Fiona getting powdered as she tries to activate her EX mode as well, and Angela throwed her cane high up into the air, turned into a 10-ton iron, good god, now Carly's deflected as the Ice Smash comes out from Angela, following those stars and the heart, and see a big explosive base shot takes Fiona out from Carly, Thunderbolt ends up hitting Kamoi for the heart, right to Carly's aerial baseball into the Diamond Missile, following the level 2 Dark, Dark Force spell, there she goes! My god, what a chain of pain from SD3! Angela and Carly bring in the heat, taking round one quite handily. Round two, let's see if Fiona and Kawhi can fight back into it. Alright, see, the Thunderbolt start following the machine going from Carly. Goes for a dashing level one tech. Now star shot in the ghoul summon. Air blast. Now a heart coming out. Oh boy, now mega splash. Both girls pinned in the corner here. Now an explosion. Let's see, now... 
Carlos and Angela summoning more fireballs. Carly knocked down. Goes for a baseball following the mega splash from Angela. Let's see. Now Fiona go. Uh, Kamui activated EX mode. Fiona got knocked down. She gets a sword slam. Now Carly trying to keep Kamui at bay. Oh, the ghouls come out. Holy ball blocked by Kamui as another evil gate comes out. Carly trying to chip her with the baseball. And Fiona just hiding behind Kamui who tries to block the evil gate. And Carly trying to rip through it. Oh, goes for a big super fan combo on Kamui. Does some decent damage. Now see Angela going for another dark force. Oh boy, it's going to overwhelm the whole screen. Multi-target Dark Forts. I think that might have taken out Kamoi and Fiona off by the Thunderstorm. God. Man, Angela's level 2 magic is very devastating. Saved Carly when she was sandwiched between Fiona and Kamoi, and they managed to obtain a rare 2-0 over them. Good God. You really don't see Arcana Heart take uh, a 2-0 defeat often, but it happened here at the hands of Angela and Carly. Not too surprised, because Angela's full screen magic is devastating. And if Carly's able to keep them away, and whenever they get low on health, Carly tends to spam the multi-target heal light or single-target heal light to keep themselves alive. So Angela and Carly can be very threatening if you let them hang around too long. And if anyone's learned their lesson from Hawk and Duran back in my old series, and they didn't have heal light, but they were still just as devastating. Hopefully, uh, Fiona and Kamoi can uh, Actually, I think this is their last chance, and they kind of flubbed this one up bad. I think they might get a change of scenery. I'm thinking Neo Saturday Showdown for them because they might just skip. They might get downgrade past NXT. Fiona Kaboy might do okay over there, but I want to see if they do better on Neo Show first. We'll see what happens with them. And Angela and Carly, yeah, they have a season four spot solidified. They'll keep going. They're holding their own quite well. Alrighty, folks, be right back as I set up double set number two. Hopefully, we'll get a three there, maybe, and break their two zero. Well. And this is our only 2-0, if I believe, because the other two matches were threes, so... Be right back as I get us ready for double set two, folks. Okie dokie pokey! Let's get a move straight on into our next 2v2. Team Sundaris, Taiga Isaka and Karino Kusaka, have a hellacious duo standing in front of them today, with Team Metroid's Dark Samus and Ridley. I'm sure the Space Pirates would like to make up for their previous defeats to the MDC Assassins, Samurai Showdown, Maharo Medic, and most recently the Kamen Riders. And collecting the corpses of the Palm Top Tiger and Angry Otaku Omoto could be that cure. Will they make it a reality? Random Stage, let us know now, please. Hope you all enjoy. This will be a ballistic battle of epic proportions. Trust me on that. Team Sundari, Taiga and Carino about to do battle with Team Metroid's Dark Samus and Ridley on the Gravity Beetle stage. Let's get ready to kick butt, engage, here we go. Alright, Taiga starts with Ryuji summon getting behind Dark Samus, ends up reaming her. Now Ridley getting carved into a Taiga sword swing and Carino's aura burst. Dark Samus teleporting in, now Taiga launched into the air, Ridley getting comboed on the ground. Dark Samus trying to attack Carino, as he now Ridley takes to the air, goes for the fireball shower. As the Dark Samus trying to deal with the scenarios on the ground, and Carino trying to attack through the fireballs. Looks like Taiga's still getting slammed by him, now the ice body drops from... On, oh, it's like a Miss Tiger, she gets a kick trash can counter. Carino lobbing projectiles out. Ridley trying to close in, grabs Tiger with his beak, throws her into the air hard. As now Carino gets a nice counter off of Ridley. Dark Savage trying to space. Looks like Ridley knocked out of his fireballs. Carino trying to get a roundhouse off of Dark Savage. Tiger with the kick trash can counter. Gets the Ryuji summon off. Carino lobbing out projectiles. And Ridley getting pushed into the corner. Tiger sort of cut finishes them off. Big phase on beam special. Dark Savage nearly off Tiger. But Tiger slowly advancing with her sword string. And Carino trying to assist her up close. That's the help. It's like Dark Savage missed her counter strike. And Tiger counters her with a sword strike. My god! And Taiga barely hanging on in round one for her and Carino. Sheesh. That was close. Round two, let's see if Metroid can murder him and force it to a three. I see Ridley charges Taiga immediately with that ground slam. Now launches to the side of the wall. Big phase on beam on Carino from Dark Samus doing some good damage. Ridley trying to fireball spam, but Taiga counters with a kick trash can. Rides that board in. Ridley going for some more fireballs, and Carino trying to attack him. I see Dark Samus got caught by Carino's bitch slap, but gets the ice grab off on her in retaliation. Big aerial string on which the screw attack on Taiga, but Ridley's flight fireball spam from the air ends up intercepting Taiga. Almost has her. Now Carino gets ground slammed by Ridley following that grab. Now Dark Samus teleporting around, fireballs grazing Carino. Now kick trash can counter to Dark Samus, but Ridley's fireballs off her and Carino in the confusion. Sheesh! And Metroid are right back in it, folks, as I expect they would be. 
and we are going to our third round three of 147. Who will take this major, folks? All right, Taiga immediately starts with a sweep kick. Oh, big face off against Dark Samus, and Karino getting buried by Ridley in the corner. Now he loads a mini fireball, big tail jab, following a fireball, tries to rush in. Taiga with a kick trash can counter. Now Karino trying to race in, following that aerial board from Taiga. Now Dark Samus and Ridley getting rebooted by the Ryuji song, following Taiga's throw. Oh, God. Karino trying to get in. Ridley grabs her, starts fighting her. Big ice body dive nearly has Karino's number. Big fireball spam. Taiga with the kick trash can counter, following the Ryuji summon into the aerial port. Man, Dark Samus Ridley going for a ride. Taiga with that sword up cut. Taiga bringing it back here. Oh, Karino gets off. This is bad. Taiga barely hanging on. Ridley flings Karino with his beak. There she goes. Getting grown by fireballs. I'm mean, already dead. Taiga with the kick trash can counter. Ryuji summon out. Man, Taiga still got life here. Face on beam. Taiga barely dodging it. Gets grazed. And barely dodges Ridley's grab, gets a sword strike, Ridley's down, Taiga could bring it back here, Dark Samus and Taiga trying to fight for this major here, and Dark Samus trying to stay space from Taiga, who ends up closing in on her, sword uppercut, and Dark Samus gets a mini phase on beam off, and Taiga catches her out of the teleport with the sword uppercut! Holy smokies, folks, just when I thought Taiga and Karina were dead in the water! Man, Taiga manages to off Ridley, gives herself a chance, and Dark Samus couldn't quite maintain her spacing as Taiga cut her down 2-1. This would have ended a lot worse if Ryuji wasn't here to stop me. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Man, that was a hellacious round three. This set definitely delivered on all expectations, especially mine. All right, Taiga, Karino, Ridley, and Dark Samus. Another memorable doubles matchup. And this is so far probably the best match of 147 in my book. And Dark Samus and Ridley, they don't suffer too many defeats. So as I expect of them, they'll probably recover later if they continue on in doubles. Or maybe they'll want to look into 3v3 or 4v4 if they can find some partners, because no matter where they go or if they stay in 2v2, they are going to be devastating. And Taiga and Karino, they continue their climb up the A-tier doubles ladder, and I continue to wish them the best, because they are going to be tough to beat. <laughs> Alrighty, Roo, be right back as I set up our 3v3 main event, I think, is coming up, so yeah. Stay tuned for that one as I prep it. Gotta get a drink of water, because my throat is on fire. The F-147 3v3 main event is finally ready to begin. Team X-Men's Colossus, Gambit, and Rogue have only started to get their feet wet in 3v3, and with more time to strengthen their promising chemistry, I expect them to go further. And a win over the flailing Resident Evil could be a start. Nemesis, Hunter, and Linker I really expected better from, but they just haven't lived up to the hype of being dominant monsters. Will Professor X's gang finally put them out of their misery? Random stage, let's go! Hope you all enjoy! Colossus, Gambit, and Rogue seize this win by the throat and squeeze it for everything it is worth! The 3v3 main event of F-147 is here, folks. Team X-Men versus Team Resident Evil. WWF Raw's War Ring. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. All right, Rogue pairing off with Hunter. He's just getting a low claw shot. And Nemesis getting back to the car. Gambit unloading the explosive card strike. Ends up hitting Linker as Colossus paired off of them. Now Nemesis and Linker trying to double-team Colossus. Gambit and Rogue trying to double-team Hunter, who's knocked into the air. Now Rogue with the kiss on Linker throws him to the ground. Gambit going for the card throw. Missed the dive kick, though. And Hunter launched into the air. What's going on? The ground Colossus go clubbing the monsters. Now Rogue with a big kiss launching Hunter. Looks like he's down. Now, see, now Nemesis, the only one left, I think. I think Linker's body got launched. There he goes. And, oh, big energy tackle from Colossus. Waste Nemesis in the corner. And the X-Men with a very convincing round one win. Round two. Come on, Resident Evil, wake up. All right, see, Gambit missed the dive kick, but gets a nice staff combo off. Now Colossus powering up here as Rogue gets a form rushing Linker. Colossus with the energy tackle. Now Gambit gets in with a big staff combo, and Colossus with a giant swing on Hunter. Falling Rouge's flaming tackle. Good God, Hunter nearly dead. There he goes. And Nemesis down to half health already. And I think, oh, Linker, it looks like Linker got squashed already. Good gravy. Resident Evil almost dead. Now they're waiting for Nemesis to come up so they can triple team him. Nemesis pounding Colossus and Rogue back. Gambit trying to leap in. Now Rogue and Colossus slam him with their last hit. There he goes. And the X-Men just run rough shot over poor Resident Evil, didn't even give them a chance, as they completely dominate 2-0. It wasn't very ladylike, but I kicked your butt. I see you have learned lessons from Professor x -Well. Uh, Gambit, you have anything to add to that? Because you were the only one that didn't say anything. Oh well. I guess Colossus and Rogue pretty much said, stated everything here. Man, X-Men just completely went postal on them. I mean, they literally just knocked their limbs off, put them in a priority mailbox, and just shipped them to the graveyard somewhere in the world. I don't know. <laughs> but that was a massive mauling if I've ever seen any. But Colossus, Gambit, and Rogue need momentum, and they got some nice, and they got some, they got a nice boost of it here. 
just completely reaming Resident Evil's face. Well, sometimes main events don't deliver, folks, and this was one of them, but hey, the X-Men got a much-needed domina dominating win, so I'm happy for them. Alrighty, folks, stay tuned for F-148 coming next weekend. Can't believe we're only two away before we hit our big finale. That is just crazy. 148 next weekend, folks. Hope you all enjoyed 147 and everything we had in this, you know, up in this, um, you know, show. <laughs> I mean, we had three round threes. That's still quite good. So I'll see you all later. Peace friggin' out all.